Hello everyone. Oh. Turn that off. Hi everyone. How are we all doing today? Why can I hear this? Don't worry, there shouldn't be anything quiet on the screen just yet until I get it sorted. Give me a second. Always a few technical hiccups at the beginning of these streams. Because it wouldn't be live streaming without it. And if anyone is in the chat listening, can you just let me know how the audio is, etc. Get the first game queued up. There we go. There we go. Yeah, if anyone's in chat or watching or anything, just let me know how the audio is, please. I'm echoing. Yes, I can hear that too, and I don't know why. Okay, what are we doing? Why are we echoing? Has that made any difference? Nope. Hate it when it does this. <laughs> Is that any better? Okay, and someone let me know if the echo is gone. Because with my technical savvy, I probably have not fixed it. Sorry, that's just me dropping everything everywhere. Why is it echoing? Hmm. Sorry about that. I have no idea why it's echoing. Is it bad? Um, what's that? Any better? Uh, 
I will get onto the stream properly in a bit, but... Is that better, did you say? What now? Still there. Hmm. What was that? Oh, hang on a sec. How's that? How's that? Nope, still that. Still that. What about now? What about now? Still, there? still there? Okay. Okay. Seems to be one of the filters. filters. No, nope, that's still no, that. How's that? How's that? How's that? <sighs> Why does technology Why does never work? work? Right, wait, wait. Any better? God damn it. Is the audio still? Yeah, it is. Why is it doing this? Any better?
How's that? Uh, can anyone in the stream let me know if that's all right? Thank you very much for wishing me happy birthday, Shiny Bug. I really appreciate it, and I appreciate you just popping by. Have a great day. Thank you. Uh, yeah, can anyone in chat just let me know if that audio is any better? I just need to reduce the volume a little bit, but at least it's not echoing now. I've no idea why it's echoing. Oh, it was. Yeah, sound all right. No more echoing. I, I appreciate that I might be coming across a little tinny um, and stuff like that now because I've had to delete all my filters uh, that I had on my last one. Fixed. Excellent. Right. Well, at least it's not echoing now. Apologize if the audio quality isn't amazing. Um, thank you very much. Cheers for letting me know that the audio is fixed. Sorry. I have no idea what's happened there. The joys of live streaming, eh? Um, yeah, so I've, I've had to get rid of all my filters and stuff off my audio. So if it's not amazing or not as good, not as crisp, that's why. But I'll... Hey, if it isn't one thing, it's another, isn't it? It just never stops when you come to live stream the technical issues. But anyway... Thank you so much for putting up with all of that. Um, do we have any desktop audio now? Yes, we do. We've got game audio. Thank God for that. Well, <laughs> thank you so much um, for putting up with all that. And if you're still uh, watching and stuff, I really, really appreciate you. Um, but anyway, on with the show. Now that we've got the technical side sorted-ish. Um, thank you very, very, very much for tuning in. So... Today, we are, ha we've got a new show for the channel, brand new show, called the Indie Gaming Showcase, but I mean, it's quite self-explanatory, but what exactly is the Indie Gaming Showcase? So, this is going to be a regular uh, series that I want to do every month, every couple of months, every time there's like a Steam Next Fest, for example, and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to handpick four five three four five amazing looking indie demos that i th dropped my pen there um that i think uh need more eyeballs on them basically these are games that if you've got your wish lists on your switch you've got your wish lists on your steam library these are the games that need to that need to be added to those wish lists asap you don't want to miss out on them for one reason or another and so the games that i've chosen today uh, for the first episode of this are uh, um well well i'll reveal them i've already re already revealed them on my social media channels and stuff so if you want to stay more in tune with um this channel with jordan with uh with a no then do check out my other social medias you know i'm on tiktok instagram uh, twitter those are the ones i'm most active on anyway but uh, as for the stream today i will leave it a little bit of a surprise and i'll reveal them as we go along um and i've got a few facts and stuff about them um to hopefully you know, inform your decisions. But first up today, like I said, if anyone follows me on social media and stuff, they will have already seen this. But first up today, the first ever game on the Indie Gaming Showcase is Bramble, the Mountain King. Now, I've got my little notes here. Where's my camera? I've got my little notes here. So I can make sure that I am giving you the correct facts when it comes to all these indie games. But again, why tune into this? Why, why show up to this random channel where when we've got a thousand gaming showcases already? For God's sake, we just had an indie world uh, from Nintendo, what, two hours? Less than two hours ago. So why show up here today? Well, one reason and one reason alone. All those uh, gaming showcases that we get in the Summer Game Fest and the Nintendo... Indie worlds and all that jazz. They always show you uh, the trailers. You know, let's be honest. By the by, the time an indie game comes out, um, we've seen the trailers like a thousand times. You know, you get that initial buzz when you first see it, and you're like, "All right, cool, cool." But it's time for some actual gameplay. It's time to actually dive into these games, see how they function, see what they've got to offer, because we could watch a thousand trailers and still not know anything really about a game. So let's see what their demos and what their gameplay is actually like. So, with that little spiel out of the way, we are on to Bramble the Mountain King. Now, first of all, this game, I've already played the demo for this um, a while ago. I think it was at the Steam Next Fest last year, or earlier this year. And it's really, really good. If you're a fan of Little Nightmares, 
This is, it's like, it's almost like a spiritual successor in a way. They share a lot of similarities and stuff. I'll just check my fact sheet here. So, first of all, it's release date, 27th of April. So, if you do like this first game we're showing today, it's out next week. What more could you want? <laughs> um, it's been made by a studio called Dim Frost. Um, it's published by Merge Games. Um, it's coming out on everything. Uh, all the platforms that I could see. Um, um, basically, what is it? It's ad It advertises itself as an adventure set in a world inspired by dark Nordic and Slavic folk tales. So, it's obviously going to be a dark game. And if you know anything about mythology, folk tales, and stuff like that, you will know that more often than not, they're quite creepy. So... Enough of me, yep, it's fine, let's start again. Enough of me just talking about the game. I could sit here and talk forever. Doesn't matter. Let's dive in. Little Nightmares, the OG, yes. For anyone that has been around um, my channel, Little Nightmares was the first ever game that I made content for here on YouTube. Oh, thank you very much for the happy birthday wish, Kero. You're at work, but you'll be lurking. I appreciate I appreciate that. Is it going to pick it up again, or has it crashed? Are we back? Can someone in the chat let me know if we're back? Because it has just crashed. Um, but we might be back now. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think it's fine. Is it already back? Someone just let me know, please. <laughs> Make sure it's working. Excellent. Thank you so much. Uh, let's just call. Let's just put this down to what it is. This is just the stream with a thousand gremlins in it today. Jesus. Uh, basically, what happened was, Kero came in, wished me happy birthday, and crashed my OBS. So I appreciate that, Kero. No, but seriously, I do appreciate the happy birthday wishes. Um, hopefully, hopefully, we can continue this stream without anything further going wrong. Right, let's continue. I, ple I do appreciate uh, uh, you all sticking around and stuff. Um, anyway. At least he had found the stone again. What I was trying to say when OBS crashed... And I had to reboot it. And it felt like it was his sister's way of telling him he was on the right path. What I was going to say is, obviously, all of the games that I'm, uh, all the games that I'm going to be playing today are demos, so they are not the final version of the game, etc., etc. You know, there might be some graphical or audio glitches, etc. You know, just, just get it as like a, like a, like a nice taste of the game that is to come. Okay, so don't treat it too harshly. Unless it is, I would, I would always do my best to never bring you like a buggy mess. Although it is skipping a few frames here and there, but if I remember correctly, when I first played this demo, it did the same then. So hopefully they'll fix those. Th they'll have fixed those things by release next week. I can't see where I am. So oh oh oh. Has the game crashed now? Because of... Yeah, most likely. Because why not? <sighs> so, excellent start. Like, I, I think the game just crashed. <laughs> if there's anything else that wants to go wrong, um, by all means, I'm all for it. Like, right, do over. Let's start again for the thousandth time. Oh, God's sake. Thank you very much. Um, uh, thank you very, very much. I will stick with the stream as best I can. I will, we will make 
this stream work today if we have to brute force it? All right, we will pull this goddamn thing through. <sighs> this is just going to be the stream of, th of a thousand issues. Let's just put it down to what it is. Right. Anna was comforted by the morning sun. See how this he goes. Had survived the night, but just barely. At least he had found the stone again. And it felt like it was his sister's way of telling him he was on the right path. Well, I hope we're on the right path, and this time the next area loads. Please, come on. Yes! Right. Anyway. <laughs> okay. We can finally, finally, properly kick off the Indie Gaming Showcase with... Bramble, the Mountain King, <laughs> and hopefully nothing more goes wrong. This game has some good music. I don't know if the song ever ends, <laughs> but we have an adorable little hedgehog buddy that we're going to ride across this lake. There's a song in it? There we go. I didn't want to speak over it because it was such a beautiful song, but... <laughs> and yes, we are. We have our little hedgehog taxi. We're sitting in it and we are steering it with a worm. Because why not? And any gay return... Oh, right, okay. So we can get out of the hedgehog, walk around, some froggos. Oh, oh, we got anything in here? There's something here. Items to uh, to investigate, just like uh, Resi. Can I... Yep. Okay, back into our hedgehog taxi. And right, any game that gives you an adorable little mount to uh, to traverse its world is uh, a star in my books, a plus, whatever you want to call it. It's all good. And what's cuter than a hedgehog? Hedgehogs are adorable. Except Sonic, I wouldn't really describe Sonic as adorable. Thank you, hedgehog buddy. I hope we give it its its worm. Uh, like I said, this entire game is based on Nordic folklores, um, Slavic folklores. So there may be some creatures, especially if you're aware of those kinds of, of kinds of tales. So there may be some creatures that you uh, that you might recognise. Where did that gnome go? I want that gnome! Come back! Like I said, this game does release uh, next week. So if you do like the look of it, then by all means, check it out. 
Um, I certainly would recommend it. I was going to say these little dandelion things are alive. It sneezed. That's adorable. I, w I, I really want to pick one up. This is my guy. Wake up. I don't know how to wake him up. Oh, actually. Hang on. Yeah, I do. Come here. No. This way. I'm thinking maybe we have to... Uh, chase one of these things underneath him. A little... Yep. There we go. You're the one. Let's corral it. I'll wake him up and he'll sneeze. That's what I'm thinking anyway. Okay, I thought that was a great idea. I got... There we go. Okay. He's a little bit, uh... A little bit finicky there. Oh. And off we go on our adventure. If you're just tuning in, um, welcome to the Indie Gaming Showcase. Um, this is the first game that we're going to be showcasing today, and it's called Bramble the Mountain King. And here is an adorable little gnome baby thing. And we need to reunite it with its papa. Oh, look at him holding on to his feet. I, I don't know why, but I've never wanted a, gnome, a baby gnome to be sat on my head more in my life. Um, okay. Into the water we go. And we got... I, I, I... Before anyone says anything, by the way, I don't know that many Nordic folk tales or Slavic ones even. So I'm not going to sit here and try to... Pretend I know what our half of these creatures are. So if I get it wrong, I am very sorry. But I don't mean any offence. Let's get you home to Papa, little gnome. LB to crouch. I like the fact that little gnome's um, hat kind of <laughs> doubles over as well. And across this log, I'm assuming. Got to get those arms out, simulate the balance, so that we as the player know this is a precarious journey. Boop. Reunited and it feels so good. Adorable. Just goddamn adorable. Uh oh, 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 what's going down? Just something's just compelling me to dance. Oh, what just happened? I just got taken over by the dance, by the music, the rhythm. No, I need the light out. Okay, you have to hold LT down to keep the light out. That's good to know because otherwise this is what you'll be seeing. Fair, if, don't know if that audio is picking that up. Can anyone hear that? We're not alone in this cave. Hmm. Ooh. <laughs> oh no, I was almost a very squished tiny little child. I don't know if I can walk off the edge. Oh, I can't. Well, just like with any games, you always have to check the gravity and the physics. Uh, let, oh, okay, we've got a we've got a physics-based puzzle now. I'm guessing I'm going to have to jump onto this. Uh, 
that. There's no way we can make that jump, is there? Well, Geronimo. Who? Oh, I underestimated our little friend. Anything back here? Nope. Well, first of all, again, I don't know if it, I hope that audio is being picked up. That don't look good. And second of all, I think that's a skeleton in that cage up here. Can I actually go look? Can I? Um, I could probably climb up. Bear with. We'll find out if it is a skeleton. Because it bloody looks like one to me. I don't want to chuck the skeleton off. Was that a good thing? <laughs> I just <laughs> destroyed my platform. Hmm. Huh, yeet. Right. Channel that moment in The Fellowship of the Ring where everybody leans forward. This isn't how gravity works. That deep breathing, that snoring is putting me on edge. Okay, yeet. So the tactic here is not the yeet. We have learned this. Uh, and it's also not just jump off the platform into your uh, absolute death as well. Important life lessons we're learning here today in uh, Bramble, the Mountain King. Okay, that voice doesn't sound good, does it? Oh, okay, we just made it. I was gonna say it didn't look like we were gonna make that again then. But let's uh, let's keep going on. We do not want to get stuck. Is this the right way? We do not want to get stuck when whatever it is that's making those noises wakes up and inevitably wants to eat us. Got some bats above us, which are the same size as us. So I don't know if if they're giant bats or if we're a particularly small child. Uh oh, was I meant to do something then? Oh, yeah, right, okay. Oh, I almost over jump. I almost over onto the chair. Oh. I thought I had to jump onto the chain, but instead I killed the little child. Not my proudest moment, I'll have to admit. Floor one, please. Ground floor. Ooh. Right, this time don't jump out for the chain. Wait, what? <laughs> what just happened? Okay, that was on me again. I'm just in the mood for killing this small defenseless child, apparently. Um, I will obviously be running a little later than usual because we've got four games to get through today. And obviously the technical issues at the, uh, near the beginning of the stream kind of scuppered things a bit. Right, lean forward. Lean forward. And then what I just... I don't think I'm doing it right. Right, what am I doing wrong? Okay. Okay. So when we jump off this... So let's keep you balanced for a little bit. And then that'll go back up, right? And our next one will come down. So we've got to keep this balanced. Yeah? And not just jump off into the abyss. Okay, see? All it took was a bit of brain power, a bit of, no bit of the old noggin. Oh, ho, ho, ho. 
I'll admit it is a little fiddly, the controls. Um, so obviously you don't know. It's difficult to judge the distances between everything as these platforms are falling and stuff. You kind of just got to sort of be like, eyeball it, you know? Um, and obviously, as you've seen, there has been a few sort of glitches and screen tears and stuff here and there. But again, this is a demo. It's not the full version of the game. Um, so they could have fixed those things uh, when it, by time it come, by time it comes out. I've left that too late, haven't I? Shit, 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 shit. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> I was too busy talking then, and not enough game playing. My bad. Onwards, little child. Right, quick movements, quick movements. Also, is it just me or? Oh no, quick movements, quick movements. Is there something in this one? There is something in the cage, there is something in the cage, yes. I am noping out of that situation as quickly as humanly possible. Nope, 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 nope. Oh. The game was struggling then with its audio, wasn't it? Oh, still struggling a little bit there. What we got? Okay, so we've got people and some sort of devil with a violin. See, I've played this demo before, so I know what that means. Weirdly enough, though, I don't remember most of this uh, cave area, so... Oh no, and then the devil uses its power of the wind, and everybody is taking uh, sweet, sweet naps. Onwards, little child. I thought I'd missed that then. And then the devil... I don't know what the devil's doing there. Something with his powers. I say devil, it's some demon-like creature. It's all interchangeable. You get the idea. Are we out? Oh, oh! The tunes! The music! It's taking over! I have no control of my body! Hey, Cryogenic! Thank you very much! Appreciate the happy birthday wishes. Oh, right. If you guys have not seen this demo, uh, or any gameplay from this game before, this is... How do I put this? This is when things pick up. We've gone through the tutorial -y areas. Now it's, time for the re now it's time for the real stuff. And yes, this is as quick as I can move. Save me, little troll creatures! I don't think... Uh, oh, and some sort of... Goblin-like face here. Excellent. I don't think I'd like to walk or wade through mud that is up to my waist. I think it would freak me out. Well, we... If you've played a game before, you know, you know what's coming. The way the camera's pulling out... That camera change did not help me in any way whatsoever. Yep. You just keep staring at your hand, man. Or woman. Thing. Oh no! I got stuck between the lily pads. No! Leap of faith! On to dry land! Oh, oh! Dry land being the operative word there. It's not exactly dry. No, no, no. I mean, to be fair, the face on the kid kind of says it all. No. Oh, he's gonna get me. He's gonna get me. Oh, 
I've played this before. I knew this was coming. It's still freaking me out. So yeah, <laughs> welcome to Bramble the Mountain King. A definitely not terrifying uh, adventure with a small child in a, well, <laughs> dangerous as hell world. Does this sound familiar at all? Oh! He killed the little trolls. So, I don't know if you can see. He's playing his violin like the uh, cave paintings. And when the shockwave hits, it murders everything. So we got... Oh, God, can we move any quicker? Thank you. Ooh. Right. I'm just going to let him hit, get off the next one. And... Hit. Quickly, quickly. What do you reckon? Can we hide behind that rock there before? Yeah, so we'll hide behind here. How do you crouch again? No, nope, this. The music is not helping. Oh my god, look how far we've got to go. Sprint, little child. Is this somewhere to hide or... Yeah, okay, cool. And here. Right. Go, go, go. Oh, oh, oh no. You gotta be kidding. Can I make it all the way? Can I make it all the way? Oh, he broke every bone in my body. He ragdolled me. I'm dead in every sense of the word. Stone, please. Right, should be alright now. Should make it now. Crouch. Yep, good, 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 good. Wait, what's the plan here? Oh, he's... No, next one, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, no, I stood up at the wrong time. This is tricky, and I've just I've just gone for it, apparently. <laughs> um That is not the one. If if you're wondering. Right, where's that rock? Where's that rock? Where's that rock? Right, we just gotta Oh that was close. Oh the way the little kid's like holding his uh, hands over his ears. Right, when's the next one? Um, I don't know where I am, but can I get behind this? <laughs> that was close. Oh, these rocks are in the way. Go, 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 go. Don't crouch. Ah, he got me in midair. Okay. Run, 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 Don't get crushed by the rocks. I think I just got hit by a rock. But did I make it? Oh. I want to just stay here and take a breath, but the music is creepy as balls. One thing I will say for this game, um, the audio is... <laughs> audio is really really good but right now everybody be quiet uh oh um oh dear because where am I the water is his domain I have never in my life Wanted someone or something to swim quieter. So hopefully so far, the demo's not over yet by the way, don't worry. But hopefully so far you can get a kind of sense of what this game is uh, is trying to be. What, what um, it's kind of going to entail. Oh, there's a, a skeleton. Have you noticed by the way all the skeletons seem to be the same size as us? Have I got to look at it? What am I doing? 
Ja. In his past life, Nekin was a simple man that loved playing his violin. But the village did not appreciate his talent. People would frequently bully him. And the only soul that did not was a girl that Nekin fell in love with. One day the bullying and beatings became so severe that Nekin's anger finally overtook him. He marched into the village, playing forbidden melodies that made everyone dance until their flesh and bone got worn down. They eventually died, leaving behind shuffling corpses, still trying to dance to Nekin's melodies. His love was not spared death either. Devastated, Nekin left the town and lived by the lake drowning in his sorrow. Where he still lures people with his deadly music. So yeah, I believe earlier in this stream, I said something to the effect of, you know, folk tales, myth, um, myths, legends, that kind of thing. There, there are a hell of a lot of like creepy ass ones out there. Now, I don't know enough about <clears throat> um, the cultures that these fairy tales are from to comment on Nekken. Nekken? Apparently I know enough to jump down a bottomless chasm though, so that's fine. But yeah, I don't know enough to comment on Nekken or Nekken or Nekken. I don't know how to pronounce it. I do apologise if that is offensive to anyone. I'm trying my best. But it's creepy as hell. It's like the Pied Piper on steroids. Maybe that's where the Pied Piper story comes from. But, on, but onwards we journey. And you know that's not the last time we've seen the fella. Oh, that made me jump. Fuck, right, I remember this being really difficult when I did it last time. The water current, like, is pushing you, um... Into that rock. Ow. Oh, right. I want to go wide. No, we want to go wide, wide, wide. Oof. Wide again. Back in. Oh, this is really difficult. Yes, I was holding my breath whilst doing that. Does anybody else do that in... in... And that's that. I was going to say, does anybody else do that in uh, video games or movies? Do you hold your breath at the same time as the main character? Because I do. <laughs> but that is that. That's Bramble the Mountain King. So, please, if you're in chat, let me know what you thought of that game. Um, but yeah, like I said at the beginning of the stream, uh, or the beginning of this uh, section, this game comes out next week. Um, so hopefully I've been able to present and show a little bit about of what it's about. But, I hope you enjoyed it, but without further ado, let's move on to the next game. So, I uh, will just switch screens and then I'll switch back in a second. Right, let me know when that's coming through loud and clear. Hopefully it should be in time now. Please don't mess up. <laughs> Enough has already gone wrong today. Yes, perfect. Right. Next up, we have, in fact, I'll just, I'll just sit back and let it talk, tell its tale.
That was no voice acting. Okay. In a hot sunny day, fish died in the lake. Plants yellowed. Birds, birds stopped singing. There was thunder, but no rain. Thank you. I listened to my mama's heartbeat as she carried me to Alphaville. People chased us. I remember her driving, driving and bison running by. Then, a flooded city. Suddenly, I couldn't find mama. I was scared and alone. I only remember the rockets leaving for Mars. That fight, that, the, the, that night, the fighting started. I ran deep into the forest. A she-wolf raised me with her cubs. Our wolf pack survived because we are family. Many moons passed. Then one day, some Martians returned. They flew around dressed in yellow. They went hunting. And played golf. I'd steal their golf clubs. Did it say golf clubs, golf balls? I don't know. It really upset them. Then one day, I found a dead Martian. I took off his helmet and put it on. There was music playing. I listened. I learned. After years of speaking wolf. I didn't see that line. One full month. Oh, whatever. It's going too quick for me now. <laughs> I wanted to make friends, so I approached the group. But they didn't see a kid. They saw a mutant. So I killed them with my X-Men powers. Another thing to catch and study. I didn't know why, but I'd soon find out. Or I'd find out soon. So, I'll just pause it a second. So, this game is called... I'm just going to mute it for a second whilst I explain. This game is called The Cup. If you, uh, it's by Demagogue Studios. Uh, it's going to be published by Untold Tales. Um, it's coming out to everything. This one doesn't have, uh, when I say it's coming out to everything, plat uh, all platforms, um, PC, everything. Um, this one doesn't have a release date as of yet. And it's described itself as Jungle Book meets Armageddon, a story-rich old-school platformer. So, the reason that I've included this is because a game came out a couple of years ago called Golf Club Wasteland. And it's by the same devs, and it's in fact set in the exact same universe. And it, this is a really small indie game. Um, it didn't get a lot of traction at the time when it came out, but it's such an, like a poignant little game. And the music is incredible. You'll see there on the audio settings, it has something called radio volume. And the reason is because the games in the universe that Demagogue are creating, and there's going to be a third one as well called... Um, I forget the name of it now, but there is a third one coming out. Um, and each game uh, set in this universe is a different genre. So like I said, the first one was a golf game. This is a platformer. And the next one's like a turn-based tactics game. And um, they all feature something called uh, Radio Nostalgia from Mars. And basically, it's whilst you're, whilst you're playing the game, you have a radio playing um, in your ears. And you'll get music, which... The music for these games are really, really good. And you'll also have, like, interviews and stuff like they do on radio. You know, callers calling him. Um, but, yeah. Without further ado, let's just jump in. I'll turn the radio back up. And we'll just keep going. I won't go into the law too much. Uh, let me know how the audio is. It might be a bit loud, actually. Bear with. Turn that down. Um, oh. I won't go into the lore of the game in case it spoils anything in this game and in case you want to pick up uh, Golf Club Wasteland and if you do I sincerely recommend it it's not a long game um, and you don't have to like golf or sports games or anything like that to enjoy it that's not what the game is about at all that just happens to be the genre of it But for me to sit here and say that Demagogue Studios and their games are probably the most hype... Damn it, missed. Are probably one of my favourite indie devs out there and their games are some of the most hyped. I, ha 
I am for indie games coming out. I love the fact that they're doing different. Uh, they're doing a series, a franchise. Excellent. Fucking well done. There. Oh, big snake, big snake. Uh, you can hear the radio now. But yeah, I love the fact that they're 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 creating their own franchise, their own world, their own universe. But they're 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 not afraid to change completely change up the formula when it comes to their new games, their next their next game in the series. So the art style is quite similar across the three uh, across the three games in the series. I say the three games in the series. This is going to be a series. It's not quite a series yet. But honestly, Golf Club Wasteland was a game that I'd put on just to kind of oh shit uh oh I'm dead. <laughs> Golf Club Wasteland was a game that I would put on just to kind of vibe with the music. I don't know what I meant to do. Oh. Ah, okay, right. Yeah, of course. Um, yeah, so there are bits of the game, uh, of the universe and stuff that I can sort of spoil. Uh, but basically, the world is the world is done. Earth is, is no more as we know it. It's, you know, can I go this way? in here nothing um yeah earth is no more you know um the environment's just done and basically all the people that had money and could afford it escaped to mars to live in a new colony they're humans and earth has just gone to shit mutated it's it's broken it's destroyed i'm pretty sure the air is toxic to humans the the martians i suppose now, um, but this kid has survived somehow because he mutated. Let's just climb up here. Ooh. Hence, you can see all the mutated creatures and stuff be be uh, behind uh, below us, and that giant snake that we uh, came up against before. Oh, thank you for the happy birthday wishes. Uh, how's the stream going? You know what? The stream's going a lot better now. Um, it wasn't going so great before. Uh, I've had a lot of technical issues so far. So you'll get little snippets like this in this game as well. Um, you'll see sort of, there'll be, li there'll be bits like this. So in the first game, in Golf Club Wasteland, it was, there was lots of, like, diary entries and stuff. So this must be, um, what do you call them? Like, log entries and stuff that we'll just uncover. Thank you for stopping by, by the way. I appreciate that Kara sent you over. Just sit back and enjoy the vibes of the uh, of the music in this one, I suppose. Like it's like this game, like I said, is a hundred percent. Oh, there's an enemy there. This game is a hundred percent like an old school platformer. There are multiple paths for you to choose, from what I've seen in the demo, um, and like there's no right. There's no right or wrong one, you know. They all lead to the sort of right area, the, the same area kind of thing. See, there's a path down the bottom right there, so we see if that goes anywhere. See, if you can hear it now, we're not getting the radio signal because we're too far underground. So it's just static, and it's little touches like that. To be honest, it's little touches like that as to why I love indie gaming in the first place. But yeah, if you're a if you're a fan of platforming games, then you'll you'll be a fan of this game. You'll like this. It's definitely kind of for you. I appreciate that's not to everyone's taste, but hopefully we'll have something of uh, for your taste in the stream today. Uh, if you are just tuning in now, uh, we've already played um, Bramble the Mountain King, which is very much 
if you are aware of uh, little the Little Nightmares series, if you liked those games, then you'll probably like um, Bramble the Mountain King. And there we go. Radio's back on. It's very much sort of like lo-fi kind of music and stuff. Uh, it's just kind of, it's chill music to sort of, there you go, a little mutated crocodile there. It's very much music to kind of just vibe to, you know. Don't want to be dropping in that water. So I mean, when I played um, Golf Club Wasteland, I just vibed the music. It's very hard to just not do that now. Oh, nope, don't want that. Taking us back to the days of late stage Captain Logan. Can I get it into the water? Never sounded so sweet. Hmm. Right. Speaking of labor, get those Gucci boots off. That was clutch. That was close. That was close. Histoire. I don't know if you're still there, Mr. C. Ma oh, damn it. I don't know if you're there, uh, Mr. C. Magic, but uh, like I say, I really appreciate you, for, uh, appreciate you for stopping by. How do you know Caro then? Are you just, uh, are you, uh, just a regular viewer of his? So I've seen you in his streams before. Tried to recreate that feeling here on Mars. So uh, these are the sort of phone-in interviews that you get on radio, uh, nostal radio nostalgia from Mars. But it's like driving a janky VR simulation. Yes, yes, a hundred, a hundred percent agree with you on that one. I think they, in their marketing for the game, do you work with him? Oh, you're a, you're a spoonie as well. Christ, been there, man, been there. <laughs> Um, yeah, but this game, it very much, if you remember those old, those ridiculously difficult Disney platformers of the past, they say in their marketing that that was kind of their inspiration for this game, and I can totally see that. So it's like, alright, cool, when we get to this sort of it, bit here, yeah, where do we go? What do we do? Leap of faith, bro. Those thoughts are generally practical. Get some air. I'm pretty sure there's something down here. How do I get to that destination before? But we might run out of health. Uh, health. Water, yeah. Same thing, right? The bigger picture stuff of why am I doing this and what Woo! Is anyway? Oh, we're about to die. We're about to run out of air. We started Breathe. at the top of California's infamous orange sheet road and we rode it to the high It's all good. It's difficult. It's a difficult game to stream this because. Oh. So as clear, maybe there's different chapters in this game. I'm not sure. So obviously we've just skipped forward here. Um, but yeah, it's a difficult game to stream this because the uh, a lot. I'd say like 80% of the game, or this and the previous one, is its audio. So I don't want to talk over it, but it, it's quite difficult so to not. After that right of passage. I knew I could take over the company. Instead of being an entitled little brat whose father would pay for her theatre. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent agree with you. The vibe is definitely old school Sega games. Spooner for now, yeah. I mean, just temporarily, man. Trust me, I I served my time <laughs> at Weather Spoons. Hundred percent. I'm so glad to have got out. Do you work in the kitchen with uh, Kara then? Because of these damn EVA suits, there's no wind on the highway here. No open air solitude that makes you feel one with the world. Next like generation the fuel for miles bound oh, rockets. You manage to get outside, you're still in the You'll also find if you play this game like and the previous one and the next one. <laughs> um, you know, like I said earlier, Mars is full of the one percenters, you know, like the earth went to shit and us normal people here uh, got stuck on it and we died, you know, we couldn't get out. You'll find that it's a not so thinly veiled um, dig at people like Elon Musk and stuff like that, the billionaires of the world, um, which you know what, I'm absolutely fine with, take as many shots as you want against them, fucking deserve it, but that's beside the point. I need to keep remembering to roll. 
See, obviously there's a weird gravity thing is happening now. You're in the kitchen, but as of next week, you'll be diving into making your first game. That is sick. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> that is sick. What kind of game are you looking to make? Tell me more. I'm all about that. That is amazing. Oh. Huh. Uh, I didn't make that jump. Quickly, quickly. I don't know if that's what you're meant to do, but fuck it, it worked for me. Whew. Oh. It's, it's just really hard not to just sit here and listen to the music. Hit listen to the beats. Anything in here? No. I did not mean to do that. <laughs> It's quite, um, I think like the biggest sort of selling point when it comes to um, platforming games for sure is how the jumping mechanics are. You know, if it feels floaty or anything like that, it can be really off-putting. But I do find it quite precise uh, in this game so far. Ah! Just got out of the way in time. But yeah, like, I do find the uh, controls quite precise. They are quite um, responsive, which is really all you need for a platformer. A platformer, let's be honest, will live... Oh, good God. That was... Oh, no. Oh, no. Where was I meant to go? <laughs> Shit. Uh, right, where was I meant to go, then? Oh, up there. Right, yeah. Oh. The anti alphaville Manifesto. So, yeah, um, I, again, I'm not going to go into the lore and stuff of the games. Like, that's kind of not really the point. You don't have to play Golf Club Wasteland to, uh, to to play this game and to enjoy it. That's 100% for sure. I just have, and I really enjoyed it, so I would recommend it. Uh, it's been three or more months of planning, but it's time to build, finally. Easiest way to describe my game is that it's... It's stranded deep and dead by daylight had a baby. That's my game. Gee, <laughs> that sounds interesting. That sounds cut. It sounds cool though. Oh dear. You'll have. You'll have to. Uh, you'll have to keep me updated on um, on your journey as you're doing it. Um, are you gonna be? Damn it. Are you? Oh, that's a bad death. Are you going to be updating your journey on like social medias and stuff? Because if so, um, you have to let me know and I'll, I'll follow your journey along with it. Because it sounds cool. Ah, plummeted to my death. See, this is what I like um, when platformers can do this kind of thing. So, obviously before it was just a, you know, it was just a platformer as it were. Like, no matter how tricky it can be, it's still just a platformer. Whereas now we've got sort of other stakes. It's a bit more rushed now, you know? I feel a lot more pressure. Oh. Oh, no. Yeah, I didn't realise you had to push and pull that. My bad. Oh. 
Oh no, oh no. <laughs> I'm just here with a snake. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm dead. <laughs> um, speaking of those sort of old school um, platformers and stuff, I, it wasn't a platformer, but I remember the Aladdin game specifically being ridiculously difficult. Wasn't there a, um, there was, I feel like there was a Lion King game that was difficult, I just can't remember if it was a platformer. And Hercules, that definitely wasn't a platformer, but that was... Oh, how have I just done this again? I keep forgetting the buttons. Hmm. Right, we got this, we got this. Ooh. That's the only downside to like uh, playing of uh, three or four games in one kind of thing. Oh come on, the crocodile didn't get me then. Okay, that's not what I meant to do, but sure. Uh. Okay, we're good so far. Uh, I feel pressured. Oh no, I feel more pressured. Oh, I thought that was a platform. Okay, when I have to admit, like it's because it's kind of like, oh, damn it, it's kind of like 2.5D the graphics. Um, sometimes some of the background can kind of get lost a little bit. You know, like then I thought it was a platform and it was just part of the scenery. But other than that, it's handling really well. Like I'm I'm a fan of it so far. I'm just gonna drop down. Uh, and now I'm gonna I don't know. <laughs> I'm panicking. Shit. Whee! Into the water. It's funny, isn't it? Like, I was talking about the radio and the music and stuff of it earlier. And because of the pressure of having to run away from being captured and stuff, like, I've literally just not been listening to the music. Oh. Oh, good. This is... This falls. No! No! This poor child has died far too many times in this demo. Um, and like I said before, like this demo seems to have different uh, bits from different chapters. Nailed it. There's so I've always been a big fan of platforming games, but there's something to be said when you just nail that that. Oh shit! Not like that. And you nail that jump. Not like this. Well, that was a shit show. I think my all-time favourite and most difficult platformer has to be Sonic. And Aladdin was ridiculously hard too. Um, when you say Sonic, I'm assuming you mean the original Sonic? The OG? Um, all-time most difficult platformer. You know what? I think I'd agree with you. I would agree with you, I think, on the Aladdin one. I remember playing that and it being ridiculously difficult. Come on. Come on. Like, is this a platform above me? Oh, no. Right, come on. Concentrate. Concentrate. I'm just, I, I do find myself just kind of bopping along to the music. Alright, come on. We know what to do now. No! Ah! Oh. I believe the operative word there is piss. You got this little child. Little 
I was gonna say Martian child, but he's not, is he? He's an Earthling. The Martians are the ones that are actually after us. The only reason that I'm continuing to do this route, by the way, up here, is this seems to be the easiest to me. There are other routes. But, oh, fuck it again, haven't I? Yeah. Shouldn't have said that this was the easiest route. So I immediately fucked that. Yes, the OG, uh, the OG Sonic, when you heard that game over music on Sonic and realised you wasted an entire day as you couldn't save it back then. Oh my god, yes! Wow, talk about, um, talk about game mechanic. Okay, I just fucked that one up. Talk about game mechanics and game features that, uh, that I totally forgot about. Yeah, not being able to save or, um, like, password checkpoint. Okay, now I just can't play the game. Yeah, not being able to save because of, like, memory card or not having a memory card. Anyone have that with, like, their PS1? Um, but yeah, like, um, password checkpoints, you know, when you finish a, finish a level and then have to put an in, a password in to get to the, uh, checkpoint again. Damn! Wow, that's a mechanic I've not thought... Oh, God. That's a mechanic I've not thought about in 15, 20 years or something. Oh, come on! Should I take the different route? See if that's easier? Because I'm clearly not doing well on this one. Let's try this route instead. I think I've already messed this up to be fair. Yeah, I have. I have. I 100% have. Oh, is it only going to start? Creek? Yeah, okay. I survived! No, I didn't. <laughs> Every bone in my body is broken. Wow, this is tough. There is no room for error in this uh, in this segment. At all. That, and apparently I just can't play games anymore. I was going to say, this is the downside to live streaming. Everybody gets to see how bad at games you actually are. But you know what? There's no downstream. It's all for the... It's all comedy at the end of the day. <laughs> for you guys, anyway. It's definitely not stressful for me. Right. No! God damn it. Hmm. Right, I have got this. The power of positive thinking, the power of manifestation. I will save this small child from a horrific death. Uh, the tongue will come out in concentration. Yes! The power of manifestation. It works. <gasps> that stressed me out. <laughs> We're still being tracked, guys. And that's it. That's all, folks. That's all there is for the cub. Let me know what you thought of that game. I appreciate that it was a difficult one to sort of talk over because uh, a big selling point of it is the music and the ambiance of the game. Um, but from what I can say, from my uh sort of perspective like the the controls are really really responsive the controls are really good and as you've seen on that last section it can get hard as balls um right so i'll just switch screens and we'll go on to our third indie game of the day Bear Alright, next up we have a Planet of Lana. Let's just double check that that's coming through fine, which I think it is. What are you saying? Sorry. Um, Sega Mega Drive, basically every game had permadeath. Corrupted data on your memory card on the PlayStation was a soul-destroying experience. It, oh my god, yes it was. 
What was more what was more frustrating, do we think, in sort of the gaming history? Corrupted save data on your on your early PlayStations, Xbox 360 Red Ring of Death, or Joy-Con Drift on a Switch? Which one's worse? That's a nice one for you. So, this is our third indie gaming demo of the day. This is Planet of Lana. Now, this was announced to quite a lot of fanfare, probably about a year or two ago. I'm sure it was at the um, the Game Awards a couple of years back now. Um, so, I'll just quickly go through the stats of this one. So, we've got... Uh, it was de It's developed by a, comp an, a studio called Wishfully. Uh, it's going to be published by Thunderful, who I'm sure I'll, I've heard of them before. I can't remember what else they've published. Um, its platforms are going to be all the Xboxes and PC, so basically it's Microsoft, so which means, let's be honest, it's going to probably be on Game Pass Day 1. And um, described itself as a cinematic puzzle adventure framed in, a, in an epic sci-fi saga. Okay, so straight off, I'm thinking Star Wars. I'm thinking maybe less so Star Trek, but, you know, something, well, epic, you know. It, to, just to use the word saga straight away, you know it's going to have a good uh, tale to tell. Um, this one also doesn't have a release date quite yet, but it is scheduled for Q2 of 2023. So, and quarter two of 2023 is, what, April to June? So, if it sticks to its release date, and I've not seen anything to say it isn't, then it should be coming out extremely soon. Uh, got to be Ring of Death. I had the Red Ring of Death once, three times in one day on three different 360s. What were you doing to those 360s? <laughs> what game were you trying to play? Jesus. Oh, that's so unlucky. I managed to avoid the Red Ring of Death for my 360, but holy shit, that's bad. Um, I will shut up a little bit on this one because it is, like I say, it's a story to tell. Um, it's going to be a bit more sort of cinematic. Well, maybe that's the wrong word, but... Um, I mean, first of all, we've got some sort of adorable little mouse cat thing. Alien mouse cat. Wake up, child with no mouth. There's a theme of these games today, isn't there? All three of them have uh, just featured small children. The small mouse cat talks and it's adorable. Okay, that's Lana. I didn't catch the mouse cat's name. Menomui, is that his name? I, I feel like when it comes to video... This is not a dig at this game, by the way. This is a dig at video games in general. I feel like when it comes to video games, we can... Surely we all understand how to move by now. Like, Do we really need to be told certain things like that? Stop. Oh, okay, so it's like a... I was going to say co-op, but it's not really a co-op. Unless you can play a co-op. That I don't know. Will he jump up with us? Hey. Will he follow us across this? Oh, he takes a little run-up. He's adorable. I want a plush of him. I woke up and got the ring... Went to the shop, bought a second hardwood, got it home, ring of death, took it back, swapped it for... Uh, and the same thing. Oh my god. What did you do to anger the gods that day? Jesus. That's so unlucky. <laughs> you must have been pulling your hair out by the, by the third one. And in the end, I just bought a PS3. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Fair. You know what? The PS3 is probably... I had a PS1, PS2, Xbox 360, PS4, and now an Xbox Series X. My console journey. Okay, right, so cat, mouse, you... Oh, yeah, you stay there. 
And then what? I jumped to my death. I hope I load back in. <laughs> okay. So, very by the looks of it so far, it's very much similar to the previous game. And kind of, it's a, a puzzle platformer. So, you stay there. And then what? Like, hmm. Because I need to get up there. Can I throw him? No, come with me, chat. Thing. Can I... Hmm. No, he has to stop there. But he has a better jump than me. Can I not? Oh, okay. I see. I see. Come, my new pet. I think it happened when Skyrim came out from, from the first Ring of Death to me having a PS3. It was about three hours. Ah, oh, Skyrim. You know, I've not played that game in years. I miss Skyrim. I miss the Elder Scrolls. What year do we think we'll get the Elder, the next Elder Scrolls? Do you think we'll get it in the next five years? I bloody hope so, but... Oh, wait. You need to stay there. Yep. Cat. Thing. You stay there. Okay. I like this so far. Uh, it's pretty simple, but, you know, it's just... Getting us through the mechanics. Oh, did you see his little tail wiggle when he jumped? That was cute. Now you're going to teach us how to crouch? Yeah. No? Yeah? What was the X for? Oh, are we going to get... Oh, no, we can just pet the cat. Right, okay. Wait, what? Why can't I go under? What am I doing wrong? So I can just... X is pet the cat. But for some reason I can't... It's like I can't fit under. Hmm. What am I doing wrong? Here. I don't want you to stay there. I want you to come with me. Oh, okay, right. God's sake. You staying there? Yep. Yeah. We go down here. Oh, no! Ah, oh, cat, you, f <laughs> you led me to my death. Why? Oh, why would you do that? Uh, right. Stay. I don't think you're on that. I don't trust you now, cat. Yeah, you come up here. Stay there. Oh, I thought I was going to die then. Oh. Can he just jump down here? No, he can't. Oh, I don't want to leave him. He's cute and adorable. And there's a rock moving on the floor there. And those bits of black goop have faces. Oh, I see. Oh, we just meant to do this. Hold. Yeah. Come to me, child. I think the next Elder Scrolls is a 2025 to 2026 release, maybe. But I think Oblivion was better than Skyrim, so I'm not sure if Bethesda has another great game in them. That is a very, very... What's the word? That's a hot take. But surely we'll find out a little bit more when uh, Starfield gets released. What? 
is it June, middle of the year or something like that? I have my doubts. I, I, I know what you're saying. I, uh, I really have my doubts about what Starfield's got to offer. Put it this way. Look, it's going to be a Bethesda sci-fi game, you know? But we already have um, No Man's Sky, which is an excellent, fantastic game now. So do we need Starfield? That's, that's all I'm going to say. So weird because we can hear you die before I can see it on stream. Can you hear me die because you are upstairs in the other room? Or can you hear me die because um, the, the stream's out, off to, out of time? Come, cat. Come, come along. See, if this was an alien dog, you wouldn't have to tell it to come. But then at the same time, it probably wouldn't stay. Oh, what was that? Let's try that again. What? Oh, I can tell it to go places. Okay. Come here. Will you just... Ah, so it has little interaction because you're upstairs. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> I know when something's about to happen. You're just getting it on, like, delay. Yeah, it's like a uh, stereo surround sound for you. That's all. I typed my last comment and thought maybe Starfield will prove me wrong. Will this goddamn cat co come? Who knows? Wait, why is this? But there we go. Who knows? Maybe you will be proved wrong with Starfield. Um, I don't know. Like, look, it's it's a big AAA in, uh, release. You know, it's going to get all the hype in the world. Okay. Uh! <laughs> Not my fault, that one. It's going to get all the hype in the world. It's going to get all the coverage in the world. You know, it's going to be all over IGN. You're a gamer. Uh, you know, everything. Every publication that you've got is going to be uh, going over it and I can already tell you that it's probably going to get um, what we think in 8, 9 out of 10 or whatever equivalent is there a way up for me? Have I d sorry is there a way up here? Hello. will he just jump? oh okay right yep sound he's fine um yeah, it's going to get 8, 9 out of 10, that kind of deal, you know, and, and it's going to be fine. But my, I just question, like, do we need it? Like, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm first of all, I, I would 100% say about Starfield in general. Like, I'm probably not the target audience. As you can see, I'm a lover of indie games. I would much rather, personally, I would much rather play, like, 6 or 7 indie games for the price of one AAA game, you know, but... There are indie, there are AAA games that come out, and I'm like, oh hell yeah, I need to get that. But when I first saw the um, oh oh, it's an adorable little crab thing. Well, that's cute. Um, yeah, when I first saw the the game um, Starfield get announced and stuff, my initial reaction wasn't, oh my god, I need that. It was very much just like, huh, okay, yeah. Whether a lot of people sort of clamoring for a uh, um, a sci-fi Bethesda game, uh, maybe someone else will have to answer that one for me because I'm not sure if there were. I personally think Skyrim was the last great game Bethesda made. Starfield is make or break for them at this point. I 100,000% agree with you on that one. I loved Skyrim. It's up there is one of my all-time favorite games. Um, and I... Yeah, what have they made since? Fallout 4 and Fallout... Was it 76 or whatever the hell it was called? The platform's moving. The platform is moving. <laughs> oh, what? How am I meant to... Okay, so we go under here and 
I tell you to stay. Okay. Yeah. I'm not sure, man. Like, I agree with you. It is make or break for them. Like, we all know all the 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 buggy mess that was realistically that was Skyrim and stuff. But it's kind of fine. It's sort of that Bethesda charm to the fact that the game's buggy as hell. But I don't know. I have serious doubts as to what. Come along, cat. I have serious doubts as to what they can produce anymore. And to whether it's just going to be a bit boring. Oh, yeah, I thought you were stuck there. Well, so far, like, I definitely think this is sort of the tutorial area of the, you know, the game when it's in full release. Which is fair enough. So far, it's... Come on, cat. So far, it... Come on! God damn. So far, it's... You know, it, it's an enjoyable sort of game, so far. Oh, that thing looks like it's been caught. Can we help it? Wait, can we just not help this thing? Well, that's bullshit. Wasn't a fan of Fallout 76, quite enjoyed Fallout 4, and Fallout Shelter is a weirdly addicting, cosy play in the background kind of game. Yes, I've seen you play that before, actually. Yeah, I remember when Fallout 76 came out, and I have to admit, like, this is coming from a place of someone that isn't a massive fan of the Fallout series. Like, it's just not really my jam. I prefer the fantasy kind of thing to the sci-fi. But Fallout 76 was bad. God, that was bad. That has to go down as one of the worst sort of launches of all time, do we think? Do we go back on ourselves and go... Cat, I think this one's for you. With the Starfield Showcase, my brain's first thought was the Nexus mods could make it epic, but Bethesda probably can't. Yeah, that's true, actually. Bethesda make... The mods around Bethesda games make Bethesda games. But let's be honest, we've got to give them a couple months, if not more, to, to get their hands on it, to get to grips with it and stuff. So, what we're talking realistically... If, it, if, it, if Starfield follows the, the same track as other Bethesda games, we're talking, what, end of the year before it's decent? I don't know. I personally won't be dropping, let's be honest, what, it'll be like 50, no, it'll be like 60, 70 quid, won't it? I personally won't be dropping 70 quid on it. Um, there are other games that have that money earmarked for me. Well, this is definitely a puzzle platformer in every sense of the word, so far. Um, oh, okay, there's more stuff back here. <clears throat> uh, one thing I will say, um, it's odd, the lack of, like, sort of music in the background. It feels like it's just missing. That could be just because it's, the dem it's a demo, and there's nothing wrong with that. It's very slow-paced. But I always kind of thought it would be just with, come along, cat. I always thought it would be kind of slow paced just with it being, you know, it's going to be more story driven, this kind of game, which is fine. Can I get past this now? What am I doing here? Do I have to do this? Hmm. What's the aim here? Can you go up there? No. So we've turned the electricity off. Someone help me out here. Oh, up here, that's why. Blech. Again, this, is good. this looks like it's suffering from a similar issue to The Cub, the game we played last, with it just being that sort of 
2.5D kind of thing. Um, sometimes it's a little difficult to tell what is a platform, you know, what versus what is interactable in the back uh, in the background. If we touch this, will we die? Can I jump over it? Right, cool. So if we, uh, what? No, damn it, I'm gone. Right, okay, here we go. So I'm assuming I can't touch this. I don't really want my cat to touch it either. So, if you stay there. Oh, I can't reach it from here. I didn't need you to stay there, did I? My bad. Uh, yeah. Oh, no, wait, he's going to get zapped, surely. Well, he seems fine. Oh, damn it. I pressed the wrong button. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Right. You do your thing. Come back. And we can continue onwards. See, I like puzzle platformers. I mean, I'm a big fan of puzzle games anyway. Um, but I, what I like about puzzle platformers is just, you know, when the puzzles are sort of brain tickling. Not when they're at that level where you just want to pull your hair out in frustration, you know? Woo. Right, onwards. One thing I will say that I've not mentioned, um, the background art in this game is really beautiful. Is really impressive. Like, I don't know how to word it, but it feels like I'm... Oh, oh! I was going to say it feels like I'm in a forest. And now they've introduced the peril. Is he going to turn around? Right, okay, so he's got a little... What's the word? Little circuit that he's doing. So there's going to be stealth mechanics in, or basic stealth mechanics in this game so far by the looks of it. And turn around. Off we pop. Turn around again. Can we get out of here? Yeah, we probably can. Come on, cat. Oh, no. Ooh, I did not like... What, what was I saying earlier about the music? And there being a lack of music and it was weird? Did not like that. Did not like that for one moment. If Starfield isn't on Game Pass, I will just wait and see what mods come out. Do you think it will be on uh, Game Pass? This game doesn't look as polished as the last game. Um, I'm not sure if it isn't as polished. Um... I think it's just uh, how to word this in an, in the best way. I think this is a more sort of chill game, so the um, the pacing isn't there. Whereas the last one, it's quite easy to just kind of see the difficulty curve on it. It's quite easy just to sort of get into the vibe. Whereas this one, you can tell, can't you, that this is the beginning of the game uh, when it comes out because it's definitely slower paced um which i appreciate is never a selling point for a game is it i'll oh, just stick with it for the first the first three hours aren't great but the the last ones are it's never a great point for it uh if starfield isn't on game pass you will just wait and see yeah do you think it will be on game pass because it's obviously a marquee game for xbox and they've got for microsoft and they've got so little of them now that they kind of need it to to be a banger. But then at the same time, mm, it would make people sign up to Game Pass. And that's their whole, what's the word? Their whole structure at the moment, isn't it? Can we jump on this and then jump up on here? I know what you mean about this game not being as polished. In that I think the thing that... Oh. 
So will you just stay there now? I think the thing that I preferred about the Cub compared to Planet of Lana, this game, is the Cub had obvious, like, second paths. Whereas this one seems to be a lot more linear so far. Um, but again, it is, you know, you can, oh shit, you can, you can kind of tell that it's the beginning of the game, isn't it? Like, so, you know, maybe I shouldn't judge it too harshly on its tutorial areas. Oh, Jesus, I just almost ran off a cliff. Well, I'm glad that that didn't break. And now we're going to need it to go down. Uh, can I just send the cat down there? Uh, it's annoying that you can't um, send the cat to, like, other levels. That is a little frustrating. So... Can I send... Where can I send... Send it there, will it move? Oh, 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 is it a threat to the cat? Oh, shit. <laughs> um, well. Well, it achieved what I wanted, but I didn't realise that it was going to kill or, and kill and eat the cat. Jesus. Right. Okay, so now we need the stone creature to come back and lift us up. And I don't know how I got it to do it in the first place. Oh, so it's just chasing us. I thought it was running away from us. Show us how much attention I pay. So we're using the cat as bait. Excellent. That's not morally questionable at all. Traumatized. Yes. I, uh, that is not one of my, not one of the highlights of my gaming, uh, moments. I have to admit, getting a cat eaten by some sort of eldritch rock creature. Doesn't look as smooth. Yes, it doesn't. Yeah. The visuals look nice though. Starfield will be on Game Pass as what else do they have to keep people on Game Pass? Exactly. Exactly. I agree with everything you've just said then. Yeah, the game, this, this one compared to, uh, the Cub, it, you're right, it doesn't feel quite as as uh, as smooth. Um, and it's not. Can I send you up there? Um, the visuals are beautiful, though. It is a very pretty game. I can see this maybe sort of vibing, you know, if you're into sort of cosy games. Um, or, you know, just generally sort of chill, calming games. I can see people liking it for that and vibing it, uh, vibing with it from there. And yes, yeah, Starfield 100% has to be on Game Pass, because you're right, what else did they have? What was the last game, big game that Microsoft brought out, was it... Obviously they had the Halo one, they had Halo recently, did they have... Um, Forza? Was Forza the last big game that they brought out? Because don't get me wrong, I have no problem with Microsoft relying on indie games and third party games and stuff to push Game Pass, because that's why I subscribe to it. Because I, I definitely get my bank for my book through... Uh, through Indie games alone, but yeah. Oh. I like the design of the... Can I... Do that? I like the design of the little creatures. Oh, oh wait. Wait, does he walk here? Oh, shit, he does. He's gonna kill me. I fucked this up, too. Uh... Shit, what do I do? Because <laughs> he's in the way. Oh, I see. No, wait, he's still going to get me. Because he's going to run past me, right? Oh, 
Oh, that was me pressing all the wrong buttons then. I think we got away with that, did we? Oh, no, we did not. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Well, at least we know what to do. And, you know, just not misclick the buttons. Oh, okay. It counted as getting us past it, apparently. No, you didn't see us that time. Behave. I like the design of the enemies. Uh, oh. Maybe I spoke too soon. I was going to say, I like the design of the enemies. I like the fact that they're kind of almost sort of animalistic in nature, but then it just gave up seconds later. Um, can we just... Oh, shit. Right. Okay, I see what we have to do. Okay, I, like I said, I don't know how long these demos are, but after this puzzle, I'll, uh, I'll call it a day with this one. And we'll move on to the final game for today. Is he going to come back? Does he go off to the left? Yeah, he does. Right, cool. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Jump in. Oh. Everybody be quiet. Stealth sections. I hope that doesn't trigger him. Oh, it did. Oh, it did. Oh, we very much did. <laughs> oh, it just murdered me so hard. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll tell you what. I think we've seen enough um, of Planet of Lana. If that's the kind of, you know, if this is sort of um, the kind of game that you would like, then I think you understand that by now. Um, so I will just bear with me a minute and then we will dive into the final game for today. Now, hopefully that should be coming through in a second. Perfect. Right, so the final game that we have uh, to showcase today in today's Indie Gaming Showcase is when it loads on cue, bam, there we go, Cassette Beasts. What on earth is Cassette Beasts, I hear you ask? So basically, how I can describe this game is take old school Pokemon, yeah, mix, sprinkle in some like brand new ideas, maybe a little bit of Digimon also, because uh, it's got a lot of fusion mechanics, and basically dress the whole thing in kind of 80s and 90s nostalgia. Bam, you've got Cassette Beasts, okay? Um, in terms of like the nitty gritty, it's created by a studio called Bitten or Byton Studios. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. It's going to be published by Raw Fury, who are an excellent indie game publisher. Um, if you've heard of Townscaper or Sable, they've produced those. This game is coming to Game Pass. This game is coming to PC and it is also coming to Switch and Xbox. So unfortunately, if you're a PlayStation owner and you like this, you won't be able to play it. Um, this game is set for release on the 26th of April, so also next week, next Wednesday, I think. Um, but that's only for PC and Game Pass on PC. So Steam and game, PC Game Pass. It will be coming to consoles later in the year, but it hasn't been announced yet as to when. Um, and again, I, I've already described it, but their own marketing describes it as collect monsters to use in turn-based battles in this open-world RPG and combine any two monsters with a fusion mechanic. Okay, so, so far, so good. Uh, what have we got? Xbox is losing the console war again and blamed it on lack of... And blame and blamed it on a lack of good games. Starfield is the only game they have left to try and compete with PlayStation. That is a bold take. That is a bold ass take. And unfortunately, it's quite true. <laughs> uh, audio. Where's the audio? Let's just reduce this down a smidge. Uh, no. Nope. 
Alright, let's dive into. Uh, ignore this. I literally was just testing out the. Um, to make sure it ran alright and stuff earlier. Let's dive into Cassette Beasts. A little bit of Pokemon ish. -ish. I hate describing games like. You know, like a Pokemon light. Especially when they're indie games, because they do so much to stand on their own. But it's just an easy way to describe it to people. Oh, we get to, and we get to create our character. Um, I'm not going to mess around with this, so we'll, we've got to randomize. Can we... Uh, oh, damn it. I like the guy with the... Yeah, let's go with you. Can we change skin color to something ridiculous? Will it let us be ridiculous? No, okay. Yeah, that, well, I'll do. Yeah, cool. That'll do. <laughs> Not going to mess around with Otherwise, I'll spend hours in uh, in uh, character creations. Interesting vibes already. And here we are. We've woken up on a harbour town beach. And we have a jump and a dash button. And we've got a little um, Breath of the Wild-esque stamina wheel. What is going on in this weird but beautifully picturesque, pixelated world? Okay, so we got some wood. Excellent. It's good to know. And I have no idea how that will help us in any way whatsoever. Let's get on with the dash. It does not last long, so let's hope you can upgrade your stamina. Can I jump over the gate? No, I need a key. Like, if you're a fan of, like I said, old school Pokemon, we're talking, we're talking the GBA era. Well, we're talking the GB era. We're talking red, yellow, blue. We're talking go gold, silver, hey. ruby, pearl. Oh my god, it's loud. Jesus. That audio is loud. Game audio alright for you guys? Just let me know. I'm reducing my audio. Did not mean to do that. <laughs> uh, sorry, hang on. Just messing around with settings. Because that's all I do. Sorry, the audio absolutely blew my head off then. When you tried to get me to play Souls and I spent 30 plus minutes. It, it's, it's absolutely natural to spend three hours on a character creation game. And then immediately put like a helmet on your character and never see their face again. It's completely normal. Anyway, back to the game. Traffic crabs. Don't take kindly to strangers or anyone for that matter. Here, take this. Use my not Pokemon. Ugh, I need to stop ragging on it. Not all monster catching. Uh, monster capture. Games are like Pokemon. Okay, quick question. What's your aesthetic? I don't know what I'd do if someone turned around to me and was like, what's your aesthetic? Especially someone that was wearing a beret. Ooh. So we've got spooky or sweet. I like the vibe of this game already. I like the fact that these just look like doodles in like a kid's maths book. Textbook. These are just stickers, you know? I'm already into this. When you describe the cocktail of stuff, this game is like, it sounded like my 90s kid inner child designed it. Exactly. And that is exactly, that's your uh, comment right there, Mr. C Magic, is exactly why I wanted to present this game and show it off. Because as a 90s kid myself, the, I mean, and again, from the aesthetics, like the sort of stickers and the sort of, you know, scribbles in your maths, te in your maths book back in the day, this is exactly what I wanted to make when I was that age. Um, you know what, I'm gonna go with Spooky. Let's go Spooky. Yeah, I can see that. What does that mean? It's a bit rude. In that case, take this. Oh my god, she's given me a cassette. Banshee. The eerie moans of the wild Banshee at night have led many to believe that they are restless undead spirits. But this is untrue. They are very much alive. They just have a bit... They just have a... They just like to have a bit of a whine. Who doesn't? So true. Raise this monster's... Raise this monster's tape to five stars to unlock more information. Cool, I have no idea what bootlegs are. I don't know what any of this is. All right, now just pop that in your cassette player, put on the headphones and press 
play. <laughs> this might get a little weird, but follow my lead. Your turn, don't be shy. Boom. So it's not like Pokemon, because we are the monster. We transform, we, you know, become the creature. Just breathe. Right. right, let's give them hell. What do I do? <laughs> oh, look at the aesthetics. It's an actual, uh, like, a tape deck. A, you know, a, a tape player as well. Flea item. What does record do? I record the battle? Well, let's fight. Uh, melee attack. 30 power hits one target. Use The user's evasion is passively raised to a portion to the amount of HP lost. Well, let's just smack it. Um, I'm not in for tactics right now. I'm just going to wail on this thing. Oh, wait. Did I do the right thing there? Oh, I can control her as well. Spit. Range attack. Well, let's just spit at it. Let's gob on it. Oh, I killed it in one. I mean, come on, look at the aesthetics of this game. This looks sick. This is exactly the kind of game I like. We got three, we got four plastic. It's good to know. You handled yourself pretty well there. Uh, what's your name? I'm Kaylee. Apparently she's Kaylee. Nice to meet you. M nice to meet your acquaintance, Cass. Oh, I didn't change the name, did I? Whatever. Anyway, we should probably get you warmed up before you freeze to death in your pyjamas. But I fell through a portal in, t in the sky and landed on a beach. This is not my fault. I cannot be held responsible for this. Oh, I like the graphics. It's, and I'm a bit, I'm really picky when it comes to graphics, especially pixel art. What do you think? Pretty quaint, right? Is your roof a boat? <laughs> Where am I? What is this place? That's the same question. Welcome to Harbour Town. <laughs> your new home, my new home. I already have a home. Uh... I've been kidnapped. Help. I've been kidnapped. SOS. I'm not very good at this part. What are you implying, Kaylee? I don't know how to best break the news. You're stuck here. Oh, that's good. I'm glad you, that you sugarcoated it. And, yep, yeah, we all are. My head is spinning. I don't feel so great. I'll go with that one. Oh, I died. I collapsed from the nerves. I just died. Oh, the music. Oh, I quite like the music in the background. It's, it's nice. I wasn't expecting that. Ah, wonderful. You're awake. Kaylee gave me quite a fright when she came knocking at my door. You? She just told me I've been kidnapped and I'm stuck here in some sort of dimension. She gave you a fright? You had you had me scared for a moment. I don't think it's anything serious. Transforming for the first time is quite a shock to the psyche. Oh, yeah. Just glossing over the fact that I just became a monster. Yeah. I'd say that's enough to make anyone faint, really. Anyway, Harbour Town happened to have a spare home. Oh, that's good. It's good that you just have a spare home. Just wish that was true in real life. Just casual spare homes lying around. The spare home available, this is your place. What, where on earth is this place? On earth? On earth? What is earth? What is earth? Kaylee, you haven't told him? Sorry. Fucking should be. Not to info dump on you, but you're on an island called New Wirral. Anyone from Liverpool will probably get that reference. It's not strict. It's not strictly Earth. At least that's what we think. But how do I get home? I'm afraid not, Cass. I'm so sorry, Cass. Two ways. Have been trying to get back to their worlds for a century, and none have succeeded. What? <laughs> well, the stakes in this are all already through the roof. It's very Digimon, that isn't it? God, I'm Digimon. <laughs> But, but you'll be okay. There's a community in Harbour Town and we help each other out. It's not a bad life. And it's safe. Well, apart from the monsters. Yeah, seems it. Seems it like the one we fought before. Yeah. yeah. I'm actually going on patrol soon. If you'd like to join me, meet me by the gate. The one just over the bridge we crossed to come into town. In the meantime, feel free to say hi to your new neighbours. I'm pretty sure word has already gotten around that there's a new lad in town. How uh, can you tell that this game was probably made by people from uh, England? Because they use the word lad. We also fetch some clothes for you, although they are a bit out of fashion for your era. But that's all we have. My era? Sorry, sorry. I'm info dumping. I'll catch you soon. Right? Hmm. 
Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> New quest. The, it, this is the world we live in. Speak to Kaylee by the gate. Oh, I'm a ranger now. Okay. Is that, have we got a little mini map? Oh, I should probably put on some clothes. But I want to walk around in my pajamas. Not my fault. It's my choice. Oh, we can change our character all the time? I don't care what I... Oh, I'm going to wear a skirt. I'm going to wear a beautiful little skirt. A green one. Yeah. There we go. I look fetching. Is that a little mini map we have in the corner? I feel like it is. The dog has not barked, don't worry. Uh, usually, I have to admit, I would kind of sort of... When I play these kinds of RPGs, I'll literally speak to everyone in town. But I appreciate that it's, you know, quarter to nine now we are getting on. Time is getting on. And I want to see more gameplay. I want to see, you know, we didn't hey. we didn't pick up this game to speak to all the NPCs. We picked this game to check out the monsters. So let's check it out. Uh, we I've been given an errand. I need a helping hand. Do you think? Yep, yeah, I'll help. Do you see that path? I do. Whoa. There was some kind of quake or monster activity last night. You can see the cracks in the ground. We're going to check that path and make sure it's safe for crossing. Okay. Sick. Don't know why you couldn't do that, but whatever. I have no idea if you can see the monsters in the overworld or if it's random account. Oh, that answered my question. Sure, let's, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> You'll adjust in no time. It's like riding a bike, except, you know, if the bike transformed into a moody floating sheep. And also, you're the bike. <laughs> Rude. Hmm. See that creep with the boots? That's a spring heel. And it's going to get aggressive with you if you get any closer. So you're going to get closer. <laughs> so you're going to get closer, of course. Let's kick its ass. Come on, spring heel. Oh, it's like a bat. Come on. Spring heal. Oh, okay, so we just automatically transform. That's cool. Uh, oh, we've got action points. Pay, pay attention to these orange squares. They are your action points. Most moves require that uh, you to spend some AP. The amount of AP a move costs is shown next to its name. Each party member gets two AP each turn and an extra one if they land a type advantaged attack. Okay, cool. We're getting into the tactics here. You can also plan ahead and save up AP for your most powerful attacks by using weaker low AP moves. Cool. Oh, we've got an extra attack, which we can't use yet. So this doesn't cost any AP, so... Uh, should we do the same for Kaylee? Don't know if she'll always be in our party, but... But your monster farm can take it. It is a little weird that, like, I'm used to... With the Pokemon games having actual numbers underneath your HP. Bit unusual that it's kind of left to chance a bit. If both of us lose all our health, then we'll yeah, well yeah, that's pretty right. self-explanatory. Right. Just absolutely, just spat on it. That's gross. Right, let's hit it with a battering ram. Hits one target, lowers the target's accuracy four percent damage per empty slot. I have no idea what that means, but let's do it. Can we use your chance to summon a temporary ally? Cool. Let's do it. Oof. Oh, I killed it. Never mind. I don't think its accuracy down needs to matter. It's very... I mean, look, it, it describes itself as an RPG, do you know what I mean? But it is very RPG-ish, isn't it? Which I'm down for. Yeah. I hate to keep bringing this back to Pokemon, but it's obviously it's a monster-catching game, so... The comparisons, unfortunately, are going to be made, which sucks, but you know what? I am so totally down for an indie take on a, on a monster-catching game. Um, it's a series that I love. It's a series that I love. You take the lead. Okay. Okay, so she is our partner. 
siren, siren aid. Uh, siren aids are particularly loud creatures and can amplify their own singing voices through their microphone tails and wings. They don't seem to have much awareness as to whether or not their singing is too loud for those around them. Cool. So can I? Yeah, alright, cool. I like that. I like the little perspective change. That's cool. Does that come to the floor? Oh, just in time. Onwards. Oh, we've got a snake. Do you need a break, Cass? We can rest here if you'd like. Oh, cool. These bonfire pits mark areas you're safe to set up camp. Gives you a chance to repair your tapes and heal up. I like the fact... I like when a game has a, a mechanic. So, obviously, or like an aesthetic. So, this one is all sort of 90s, 80s kind of era. You know, that sort of retro vibe. And I like when it leans into it. I like the fact... Oh, so we can rest for four. This is our party. You know, so it's got like the, the tape decks and all that sort of jazz. Tape storage? So we can... I'm guessing that's how we collect the... We'll rest for a bit. I like the fact as well that you can't just rest all the time. It's a finite resource. Obviously, you're probably going to pick up loads of wood, but still. Camping with you makes me nostalgic. That's cute. That's sweet. But we've got some monsters to be attacking. Come on. Oh, so there's a nightmare mechanic. Wait, how do we how do we leave? Okay. So is it nighttime now? Oh, the monsters that were over here have disappeared. Okay. Oh, there's a person. Hello, person. Oh, there's a there's one of those spring heels. Leave it be for now. Come on this way. Oh, well that's not. The fuck. <laughs> um, she just grew wings. Is that normal? Hello, sir. I haven't seen you around. Let me guess. You washed up pretty recently, didn't you? Oh, is that a cassette player you're holding? Here, take these. Rewind fully restores. It's a pencil. To rewind the tape with. Excellent. Excellently done there, game devs. Fully restores the HP of one tape uses up a turn when used in combat. That's our HP, that's our potions. Um, I think the thing was over. I want to see some more monsters. What we got? This is some sort of snake. Do you see that monster? I do see that monster. There must be a way to get it to come over here. Why would we want it to do that? I want to fight this snake. Carnivita. Okay, we've got a double battle. That's uh, level four, level there. We're level six, so we should be all right. I'm gonna use this call for help. I want to see what it, what it brings up. Oh, it spat on me. I love the fact that the attack animations are also pixelated. This had has serious old school vibes to it. it reminds me of like the Game Boy Advance. This is exactly a Game Boy Advance kind of game, or what you used to think a Game Boy Advance game looked like, you know? But yeah, like I love the vibes for this. It's one of the reasons why I'm so excited for when it releases. Uh, next week and like say this is a, and this is on game pass so going back to that conversation we were saying about um microsoft not having any like triple a games for game pass but people that you know if you're a fan of indie games and stuff you're feasting at the moment um call for help didn't work so i want to try it again toxic stab jesus kaylee's almost dead poison characters take damage at the end of their turn okay cool poison's the same it's a good point. I wonder what the sort of type matchups are in this. The elements and like status effects. I wonder what they're like in this game. Oh, and we brought a little. Can we get through this game? Can we get through this battle without having to heal Kaylee? What, what's your biggest attack? Sonic Boom. Let's do it. Yeah, we'll take this thing out now. Oh, will you make it flinch? <sighs> she flinched. Damn it. Ah, oh, never mind. We, we took it out on our own. No, we didn't. Oh! Mm. I wonder how they determine who is going to attack. Is, you know, like... Oh, well, there we go. Like, is it the quickest monster, or... How do you know who's going to go first? Is Haley fully healed? She looks like it now. Uh, we need to get to here, because I'm guessing that this will make this thing come over here. Oh, it's a moth! <laughs> okay. Oh my god, are we going to capture the moth? Take these. Basic tape records monsters' forms with a normal efficiency rate. Oh man, I'm, I'm into this game. I'm massively into this. 
There's something about the monsters on New World. When weakened, their essence can be, well, recorded to cassette tapes. We don't entirely know how it works, but it does. And that's good enough for us. So, are we talking we kill it, or we just... Oh, that's what record is for. Okay. Uh, use. Recycle. No, oh, what? Well, use. Oh, right, okay, yeah, she needs health, Jesus. Uh, let's just do that. Yeah, she needs health, because she's going to die. 28% chance. So I, I'm like... Oh, okay, so I'm super vulnerable when we're trying to capture it, I guess. That's the drawback. Dominoths see themselves as defenders of peace and spend their days patrolling the skies of woodland areas. The only thing that can distract them out from their noble duties are bright lights, such as lamps. Xbox definitely has the indie game scene on lockdown when it comes to the consoles, but Steam is my home, and controversial PlayStation AAA exclusive have always been better than Xbox. I don't think that's a controversial take. I really don't. I think that that's... Yeah, I think that that's absolutely fair. Um... Whether a recording succeeds or not is down to chance, however, several factors affect the probability of success. How much health the monster has, its level and rarity, how much damage you dealt while when how much damage you dealt it when while recording, and how much damage the person recording it took. Okay. Buffing your attacks or debuffing the target's defenses can be an effective way to increase the damage you deal a target and improve your odds in favour in your favour. As long as the monster is being recorded, it cannot flee or be defeated. Oh, okay, so you don't need to worry about knocking it out. That's good to know. Uh, the moves you have access to when using a tape in battle, battle are determined by what stickers are attached to the tape. Oh, so like you literally, you legit, you don't just learn new moves, you can attach stickers to a tape and give a monster new moves. That's sick. You can give new moves to a monster by applying stickers from your inventory. Moves you don't want can be peeled as stickers and put back into your inventory. That is, that I like that mechanic, that is a cool mechanic. Stickers can be used as many times as you want, but you can only be applied to a single tape at a time. Stickers can be obtained in a few ways by filling tapes, experience points, point bars, from chests or caches you find, and from certain merchants in Harbour Town. Uh, oh my god, then you can rename it, yep, just like a view beat best, oh right, okay, yep. View stickers, so these are stickers and it's got one empty slot, cool. Wait. Oh, right, shit, sorry, I totally didn't even register that then. Like, I was like, we've just captured it, why are we fighting? Oh, we don't capture it like that. We literally just record, like, its essence. Oh, damn. Uh, Kaylee, smack it with a Sonic Room, that'll probably just kill it anyway. Yeah, okay. I'm into this. I'm into this game. I'm into this game. This is going to be my new... Um, oh, that raises my speed. Alright, okay, so... Wait, hang on. What does Smack do? I'll do that. Uh, I'll just spit on it. Um, Alright, yeah, so it raises my speed. So... We do have, like, other stats and stuff. I wonder if we can see them somehow at a later date. You know, when we... Uh, let's be honest, again, this is just the tutorial area. It's the beginning of the game. Bam, victory, your battle was won. <clears throat> cool. Okay, what's happening here? Well, yeah, what's happening? Some monster form give us extra abilities when we record them beyond just being able to... Oh my god, this game is a lot deeper. Like, the mechanics of it are a hell of a lot deeper than I was expecting. So the game... This is going to be a... HMs, isn't it? Some monsters give you extra abilities outside of battle. Mothwing Glide. You can now hold air to glide across long distances. This consumes your stamina. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, you probably should have warned me. Okay, okay. Uh, I can't be asked fighting anything just yet, so... What was Sprint again? Here's this, wasn't it? So you just want me to... How do I do it? No! Not like that. 
Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Oh, just about. Oh, cool. You can open little fissures in the world and they'll let, um, like, little wind tornadoes and stuff come along. Oh, what have we got this? This looks like a new mo Oh, it's the traffic crab from last night, isn't it? Last night. <laughs> when we first landed here. Right, what? Move out of the way. What is going on here? What's this? Cool. A recycled tape, 24 pulp, and some wheat. Oh, wait. Did we get a new attack? Automatically inflicts damage when a melee attack misses the user. Okay. So, wait. By that logic of these? Hmm. Wait, we came in here. Were we not meant to come in here? I'm lost. <laughs> I'm lost. I've forgotten where we were meant to be going. Come on, it's this way. Which way? I don't understand. Oh, is it around here? My bad. Whoa, shit's going down. Huh? What's going on? If this is because of monster activity, we better stay sharp. This game looked and sounded simple. Turns out it's more in depth than I thought. The whole tape thing has a kind of Yu-Gi-Oh vibe to it. I like it. Yes. Oh, man, I miss Yu-Gi-Oh. I miss all those kind of card collecting, monster collecting games from the late 90s, early 2000s. You know, when they were at the height. Digimon, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, Beyblade. God, that was popular for a hot minute, wasn't it? You felt that one, right? Yes, I felt that one. The whole screen is shaking, woman. Is this a boss battle? What is happening? What? Is that normal? It's, isn't this part of Harbour Town? I like her little animations as well. It's cool. It's a, a freaking building just came out of the floor. Is that not unusual to you? This game, I agree, this game is definitely more huh? in-depth than I originally thought it would be. Is this a train station? It should be okay to look around. On what are you basing that, Kaylee? How do you know it's going to be safe to look around? You don't know that. This building was literally in the floor, in the ground. We're definitely going to get attacked. There's going to be some sort of subway monster. It smells like burning metal. Can we go through here? Aha! What's down here? Ooh. Inflate. Oh, are we going to get some sort of... I'll tell you what. Uh, how do we... Aha. Party. Can I change the attacks on, like, Banshee? Um, check tape. Edit stickers. So, could I give it... Let's see. I can't... Why can't I give it these? Is there not compa- Oh, okay, so you can't just give it any sticker. They have to be compatible. So the stickers are basically like TMs in Pokemon. Is that my like, sort of thinking that right, do we think? So can I give you a sticker? No. Okay. Okay, okay. That camera move is odd sometimes. Oh. Cass, can you feel something- in the air? Something... Oh. There's gonna be a boss battle. Oh. Oh, have we got like fully animated cutscenes? What the... Whoa! Oh, this game is... What the hell is happening? Is that you, Mordred? Come closer, child. So that I may see you one last time. This is... This is... The long conflict has drawn to an end. I'm afraid he has defeated me truly this time. Cass, I think this is an archangel. We need to leave now. This isn't like the other monsters. We are not safe here. <laughs> Who are you? No, no, you are not my kin. You come for me once again, sword in hand. What is oh, happening? No. What is happening? Shit has hit the fan. 
Whoa. Okay. Um, does anybody else see the level of that monster? Uh, I'm going to smack this ethereal angel demon thing. I'm sure that this will work. <laughs> yeah, it's level 100. It didn't even move its health bar. It missed. Okay, that was slightly anticlimactic. Let's hit it with a battering ram. And call for help. <laughs> Please. Oh, I missed. Oh, no. Oh, it failed. Oh, no. Unlike other monsters that spend AP to use moves, Archangels accumulate all their MP AP until it reaches 10. Once an Archangel reaches 10 AP, it unleashes all that power at once in its unique angelic attack. To survive, use your moves strategically to either set up a solid defense in preparation or defeat the Archangel before it gets enough AP. Okay. I don't think that's going to be happening today. I don't have anything. Oh, can we? Oh, that's passive. Right. I have no attack here except trying to raise it, uh, lower its. Right. Raise your evasion and lower its accuracy. That's all we've got. Oh, it starts as block. Yeah, excellent. Sick. Sick. We are going to die. Um, I'm. I would wholeheartedly disagree with your uh, with your uh, situation analysis there, Kaylee. I think we're going to die. I refuse. I don't think that's how death works. I don't think you can just refuse it. Cass and Kaylee's hearts act as one. We combined fusion. What? Oh, absolute banger. When your goals are aligned with those of your companion, you can fuse to become a singular, more powerful beast. The closer you are to your companion, the more powerful you are as a fusion. Keep an eye on your fusion meter, though, as uh, you can only fuse when this is full. What the fuck is my fusion meter? <laughs> as a fusion, you gain 4 AP each turn instead of 2, allowing you to make use of more powerful moves sooner. You also have access to all the moves of both tapes combined, and your stats are also combined. Okay, so should we just... Is that our most powerful attack? That's our most powerful attack. But it's got lower accuracy. This song is sick. Fuck it. Let's go for the sonic boom. Oh, damn. It actually did some damage. Can we do it again? One more and we've done this. Uh oh. What's it doing? We are, we are surviving on a slither of health. Slither. Oh no, I thought I'd kill it that turn. I don't know what this, this discordant thrash does, but it doesn't seem to do much. I'm just going to keep hitting it with a sonic boom. Did that do it? Damn, Kaylee, I take it back. I thought we were going to get our asses kicked, but we instead did the kicking of the ass. I love the fact that I'm wearing a little skirt, by the way. It looks like a grass skirt. How did we? I don't know. Your stamina increased by 20%. You can now glide for three seconds. Cool. Enough. My time is drawing to an end. Why have you come to this wretched place? I want to go home. I see. There is no way. There, oh, there is a way. There are, there are none who know the path but I. I require a vessel. And you require a guide. Rebuild my strength, and in turn, I shall I shall lead you from this land. Uh, Very well. Hear my song. Oh, I'm dead again. I've been on this island less than a day, and I've just died twice. If you wish to leave this land, then heed my words and hear my song. You must rise to the task at hand. You must walk the path most long. The rest of the song is too quiet to make out. Something tells me we'll uncover more of that song as the game continues. Cass, are you okay? What happened? You blanked out there for a second. No, I'm not okay. Some sort of angel demon inhabited my freaking body. We should get out of here. Oh, you think? You think? 
Oh, just, yeah, we'll just head to the bar. It's fine. We just, you know, fought some sort of ethereal, godlike, angel being, demon thing. But yeah, let's uh, let's go to the bar and get a juice box. A lot happened at that train station. Yeah, oh yeah, the train station that just appeared out uh, from the ground. Yeah. Yeah, quite a few things did. I guess you should probably talk about it. About us fusing. About the Archangel. Archangels. Archangels. Okay. So, just conscious of the time. I'm going to end the stream here. But, first of all, I want to say thank you to each and every single one of you that has tuned into this, vi uh, this live stream today. Just because... At the beginning of the uh, episode, we had a lot of technical issues, so it did take like half an hour or so to get started. And I really, really do appreciate you sticking by, continuing to watch and commenting along. It's been amazing chatting to all of you. I really, really do appreciate it. I have put a lot of effort and a lot of work into this episode, uh, into the planning of it and stuff. There will be more indie game and showcases to come over the rest of the year. But what I might do is I might stick them more around like sort of the stream neck at uh, the Steam Next Fests and stuff. But the whole premise will be, you know, to present indie games that you might not be aware of so that you can add them to your wish list and keep an eye on them. But um, once again, thank you very, very, very much for tuning in. I'm still new to streaming, but I am really enjoying it. And I hope that that's coming through. I hope you're enjoying it as well. Um, but thank you so much for tuning into my channel. If you've enjoyed yourself, please do drop me a subscribe. Um, I'm very close to 500 subs, and it is my birthday today. So, I, if anything, uh, it's a birthday present from you to me. You should hit that subscribe button. Um, and obviously, you'll be notified of all our, uh, my new releases and when I go live. Um, I am planning on going live next week uh, for an episode of First Impressions which is a series where we dive straight into um, games that are just released and we play through the first hour or two. But until then, thank you very, very, very much for joining me and I hope you've had a great time. Until next time, I'll see you later.